Welcome to the Isle of Man Food and a Drink Festival 2023. It's a bit of a staple event these days. Two days over the weekend showing off the best that the Isle of Man has to offer in food and drink. And well, naturally, I'm here to show you around. Let's go. Over time, loads and loads of things have started to pop up on the Isle of Man and pop up literally because among them are mushrooms. What kind of mushrooms do you get on the island these days and how can we buy them? Well, we, we actually grow our mushrooms which are uh, in sterile conditions. You can collect them in Ramsey Market every Saturday morning or Douglas Foodies Market every fortnight. And Douglas Foodie Market, in case you don't know, that's the great new foodie market every two weeks Saturday morning till to on North Quay in Douglas. So what kind of variety do you do you offer? We grow approximately six or eight different varieties from yellow oyster, pink oyster, grey oyster, black pearl, uh, lion's mane, shiitake and king oyster. Wow, that's quite a lot. Uh, it's enough to keep us busy. <laughs> How long do they actually take to grow? Uh, from start to finish, approximately six to eight weeks. Okay, that's long. Wow. Cool. So you're always at the markets in Ramsey and in Douglas? Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you know me, you know I love chocolate, but I love really good chocolate. And we have our own proper chocolate maker on the island now. Huge stand, everything from puddings to chocolate bars to drinking chocolates. I'll put all the domains that I can find of food places in the description by the way if you want to buy stuff online but yeah we do have our own proper and really good chocolate maker on the island now okay I was wrong we actually have more than one chocolate maker on the island and I'm with well these guys didn't want they're shy they didn't want to talk to me you're not shy you want to talk I to know, me I'm shy. okay let's can you just introduce yourself and how can people buy it? I'm going to put the URL in the description, of course, as well. So people who are, can't make it here can also buy it. But what do you sell and why is it so good? Um, it's fresh chocolate. There's no additives or preservatives or palm oil in it. It's pure Belgian chocolate and flavoring. It lasts up to seven days in the fridge and you can freeze it. it you can freeze it? I you thought, can freeze I it. I thought freezing crystallizers. So. No, it's nothing in it. It's no additive preservatives to break down the chocolate. So it freezes as is and you pull it out and it's still as it was fresh as you put it in the freezer. But is there sugar in it as well? Or? There is sugar, but that doesn't affect it. It freezes up to about two months. Wow, okay. I think I'll have to try that then. Oh, you, you must. It, it sells <laughs> itself. Um, it's, there's nothing in it. It's no rubbish. There's no palm oil, no preservatives. It sells itself. I just have to make it. And this was all made in the last 48 hours, over 6,000 chocolates. Wow, because you have the short, so, the short, the short, shelf, life. short shelf life, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Does that mean you can only ship it locally or? No, we ship to the UK. Okay. Um, two day turnaround on any order. Um, but it takes normally 24, 48 hours to get across. So once you get it, eat it or yes. freeze it? Y yeah, exactly. If you but freeze it, how long can you keep it? A um, good couple of months. Okay. I, I would chocolates bought to be eaten and not to be kept. I fully agree with you on that one, <laughs> which is what I'm going to do now. Good, please try. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, this is insanely good chocolate. I mean, I go to places like Harrods in London just to go to the chocolate room. This is up there with the best of them. Go, go and try it, seriously. You learn new things every day, even I do. We have a microwinery on the Isle of Man. I've seen, the, I've seen them before, but I never spoke to them. 
until now. Tell me all about what you do, where can we buy it? Hey, good afternoon, Frank. Um, so I'm Rob from Ventosa's Micro Winery. Uh, we're based in Port St. Mary, although we live in Douglas, so okay, right good. in the neck of the woods. Um, to answer your question about where you can buy it, we have a website, www.ventosas.co.uk, where you can buy direct from us. I'll put it in the description as well. Yep, that's fantastic. Um, we have some whites, res, rosés, and we just launched a new bubbly called Vivant. And we're, we're trying hard to work some collaborations with local companies, so seafood, meat producers, uh, the Isle of Man Creamery. So you'll see more of that from us shortly. Um, and you can also buy it retail at Timwall Mills Deli and the Woodburn Deli. And we're supplying a number of restaurants in Douglas and in the south. And we've got a few more to announce between now and the end of the year. And if I buy it on the website, you just ship it out locally? Or? Yeah, we can, we can deliver uh, cases of six. Uh, obviously, we can't do single bottles, but you're welcome to pick them up from us as well. So there's a click and collect option on the website or a delivery option. Great, sounds great. So you just have to try it then. This place here behind me, Philby's, they used to have a restaurant in Peel, which was super popular, certainly my wife's favorite. And then they gave up the restaurant and now they do a food card, well, food on just event-based stuff, basically. And, well, they're always wildly popular because the food is really good. Another thing we have on the island that I didn't know we had, well, that's actually quite recent, I think, is our own chili grower. And they have some proper ones, like, you know, hottest in the world kind of thing. I remember last year at, the, at this food festival, there were two kids and one of them bought a Carolina Reaper and ate it for his TikTok. I hope he got some views because he was sneezing and coughing for quite a while. In the last few years, we have also seen an increase in really good bread products coming up on the Isle of Man. Now, Ramsey Bakery is no more, if you remember that one. You know, the white and healthy, which I always thought was a bit of an oxymoron, but unfortunately, they're no more. But in their place, there are a number of really good local bakeries. And of course, if you are on the Isle of Man, you have to try Bonac, which is the Isle of Man typical bread. I think it's similar to soda bread that you would find in Ireland, uh, but it's made with very simple ingredients. And I think it's made with buttermilk as well. So you can buy that obviously here and you can buy it uh, at some of the other shops on the island. But that's a typical Manx thing. In recent times, the Isle of Man has also built up a really good reputation for its own alcohols, as you will certainly know from the video that I did about the topic with the wine cellar a while ago. I'll link to it here below. And obviously, they are out at the Food and Drinks Festival as well. Well, choose on the name, right? Drinks Festival. And the main ones we really have is Hooli Rum, which is really strong and nice. They have overproof rum. You have uh, Foraging Witness, which you will know as the supplier of winning bubbly to the TT, the pink bottles. You have Finodiri, which is the distillery. And then, of course, we have a number of really nice beers on the Isle of Man as well. But yeah, there is now a really, really good local scene, uh, local suppliers and manufacturers for our very own booze. If you like your spirits a little bit stronger, then these guys are who you want to speak to. Outlier Distillery, makers of Huli Rum. Tell us all about it. So, hi, I'm, I'm Ian. I'm the distiller at Outlier Distilling Company. We make a range of rums. we got Huli, 41% uh, twice distilled unaged white rum. We have Hurricane, which is 64% white rum, mostly unaged, but it's got some uh, elements from a barrel which I've had since 2020, so Ardbeg whiskey and New American Oak influence. Uh, we have Punk, Punk Croc, which uh, is a blend we were asked to do for Manchester Rum Festival this year, which is again unaged white rum mixed with rum from Sauterne barrel, rum from an Ardbeg barrel and rum from New American Oak. I haven't seen that one before. I've, obviously I featured you on the, in the yeah. video on Manx Boost before. but yeah. So oh, this oh. is Punk. Uh, I'll be honest with you, we didn't have a name for it. We just asked our uh, artist, Megan, to give us a picture. And then my wife thought up the name. So thanks, Lydia. Thank you, Megan. Um, we've, uh, I mean, since last year, we've we've been moving a bit. So Hooli's now the first white rum produced in the British Isles to be stocked in Harrods. Uh, we've had some take up uh, across some really cool cocktail bars across the country. Uh, Bamboo Door in Sheffield, Trailer Happiness in uh, Notting Hill. Uh, we're doing a takeover at Lackey Kane uh, in Islington on the 28th of September uh, with the Kiki Boys. And what else? Oh, yeah, Hurricane just won a great taste award. Um, and that's, yeah, that's, that's our year in a nutshell. <laughs> that is a pretty impressive year. So. <laughs> Can you buy it on the island online? Where can you buy it? So uh, our products are available through the wine cellar on the Isle of Man and certain EVF garages. Uh, you can also buy direct from us at outlierdistilling.com. If you're in the UK, I recommend you either use uh, the Whiskey Exchange or Master of Malt. 
Uh, that way you avoid the shipping cost from the Isle of Man, which is not insignificant. Sure. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks, so, dude. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. All right. One kind of sweet, I have to admit, I haven't actually tried much before, but it's really nice. It's Amaretti. Yeah. And we make some really nice ones on island, it turns out. Tell us all about it. Okay, we're Angelica Bell, husband and wife team uh, up at Fistar, Port St. Mary. We produce amaretti cookies, either in lemon or orange, in uh, compostable bags, so we're eco-driven, uh, Manx Free Range eggs, uh, and we've just been awarded Great Taste Award for three of our products. There's only three companies in the whole of our man that's been given Great Taste. We're one of them this year, 2023. Wow. So we're over the moon about that. It means that we can go across to the UK and further afield and promote ourselves with a, a real accreditation. So where can I buy it? Right, Robinson's, uh, a good food, uh, good, good food shop in uh, Port Erin. We're on the Manxman as well, the new ship Manxman, right. uh, and uh, so we're we're getting ourselves out there, available, and also available online. We do gift boxes as well, so for birthdays and Christmas, uh, all online, uh, and we can deliver here on the island or send anywhere in the world. How, how long do they last when I buy? Thirty them? days. Oh, so uh, you can shelf buy life. international. Absolutely, there. absolutely. Right. Yes. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks so much. Brilliant. Lovely I need to some see. more samples. For Take sure. care. Bye. <laughs> right. I hope you're enjoying that walk around so far. I'll try and speak to a few people just to give you, you know, a bit more insight rather than just show the place. But there's one event. I think there won't be much talking happening more eating and that's the chili eating competition and that comes up next so i'm gonna head there and hopefully grab some really good video of people trying to eat insanely hot chilies of course chilies here from the isle of man from the fire island guys so let's see how that one pans out shall we so what's gonna happen there are eight rounds we'll bring you chilies we'll put them on the plate we'll tell you when to go you've got a minute to finish them when you finish them show us that your mouth is empty and raise your hand that is going to be really really important if we reach a tie break, mouth open, raise your hand. We keep going until it's last person standing, basically. So, eight rounds. And just to help you out, folks, I'm stood here looking at these. There are some numbers that are so big on the, the Scoville scale here. Is that actually true? Yeah, that's true, and that's, that's half as much as that. <laughs> Give me more comfortable with Please, pepper spray. I don't know. Oh. What, what are we starting with, Ruth? So we're going to go for a jalapeno. Nice warm water for everyone. Dead easy, surely. Three, two, one, go. Round two. And we now have the Sugar Rush Peach. So we were around about 8,000 on the Scoville last time. We're ramping it up a little bit to 30,000 on the Scoville. Three, two, one, go. Hands up, hands open. There we go. Grown under the balmy tropical conditions of the west of the island in the lab, we've got the Aji lemons. So these do taste of lemon. They're about twice the heat of the last one that we tasted. Three, two, one, go. Thank you. 
four rounds are done, you are officially halfway through. That's the good news. The bad news is, is everything so far would be classed as a medium hot at best. So our last one, the Ricotto, 100,000 Scobills. Habaneros can vary plant to plant. Um, these should be sitting somewhere in the region of 250,000 to 350,000 Scoville units. Right, three, two, one, go. Choice of music from James is excellent. Represent us! This next chili is classed as virtually a super hot. So these can range a little bit, so 700,000 Scobills up to just shy of 1 million Scobills. Also, a casual observer will notice these are reasonably big looking chilies as well. Tropical flavour, almost pineapple. -y. You'll be pleased to know. Oh, Three, two, one, go. Come on, folks, go to Alex. I, I can't the penultimate round. We had a few options that we could have done for the penultimate round. Not many options for the last round, but a few options for the penultimate round. We're going to go with the Trinidad Marina Scorpion or the Caramel Scorpion or the Butcher Lafayette, yeah, the Ghost Pepper. Um, we decided instead to go for the Naga. was until around about six years ago the hottest chili in the world. It's also meant to be one of the tastiest. So that's nice. 1.3 million Scobills. Three, two, one, go. Two in the final. Three in the final. Four in the final. So final round, you can only do one thing. Like I mentioned, we had a few backs and forth about what might make the semi-final round and the round before that. Final round can only be one chili. And that is the Carolina Reaper. So that is the Guinness World Record holder. 2.6 million Scovilles potentially in that. Twice the heat of the last one. Now this is a little bit of mind over matter. Because ultimately all you need to do is consume that chili and put your hands up. What happens after that, that's your problem. So, I'm going to unfortunately take up an annoying position to watch. You're all in the final. It is fastest finish. Mouth open. Hands up. Ruth will give you the countdown. Do not put hands on that chilli until Ruth has finished the countdown. So when I've finished saying go, then you can touch the chilli, guys, okay? This for the win. The hands up, mouth open when you're finished. Okay? <laughs> Stuart, I think we've got some people videoing. We might be all right. Come on, Ruth, you got this, mate! You got this! Have we got someone in the shot? We've got multiple people, that's good. Okay, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, oh go. Oh, no. Go, 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 go!
Right, ladies and gentlemen, they all finished. Unbelievable. Shall we just sit here and gaze a while in the warm afterglow? The third, the third last one was the worst one. Yeah, that the was a bad last, The third yeah, to last, the seventh yeah, part. Yeah. I mean, maybe ask again in 30 seconds. But... <laughs> yes, Callan! So, I How think we all agreed on that. We do have a very clear winner in that round. So, we have our Chile champion, our Island Man, Master of Spice for 2023. Yes. You, sir, stand up! <laughs> So that was a quick look at the Isle of Man Food and Drink Festival. It's still on tomorrow. Now I'm going to head home. Got some sausages in my bag and chocolate and all sorts of things. So I'm going to try and edit this, put it up tonight. It's still on tomorrow. It's on the whole weekend. I hope you liked a quick look at this place. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I have to say that. My wife's forcing me to. But yeah, please do like and subscribe if you like Isle of Man related, TT related and all that kind of stuff. So that's it from me for today. See you next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.